Hi dearest, how are you today? So today we're going to be looking at how to make this lovely fascinator. But before we get into that, we want our last game challenge and it is praise Anya and some other things. <laughs> Congratulations. Please do contact us in the Vencraft Academy to pick up your gift. Okay, so let's dive straight into today's tutorial. I'm sure you've all been itching because I saw it on my community tab. You're all asking how to make this. So let's get straight into it. I have here with me 1.5 by 16 inches bridal satin that I have sewn right side in and I'm cutting out the excess to enable me to turn it right side out. Take note, it is 1.5 because I'm going to be putting boning inside and boning is 1 inch round. Do you understand? So the 0.5 is the excess added for sewing. Now I discovered this new way of turning the material the right side out and that's to use a safety pin that is a little bit smaller than the size of the hole so all you need to do is take it at the edge and you start pushing the safety pin inside and once you do you just pull it out and it comes out looking lovely very quick way indeed keep watching and learning Okay, so I'm going to be doing this to six pieces. Yes, because I'm going to be putting six pieces of that on top of the fascinator base as you saw in the thumbnail. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put my boning into the piece of material. Okay, now this actually was 18 initially, but I had to cut it smaller and I would explain why. Now one, the circle on top of the hat, the fascinator base, I don't need it so big. And a size that when you're overlapping it, you need to overlap it to make a small overlap. It shouldn't overlap it too much. If not, it will show on the sides when you place it on the fascinator base. So I had to do some little adjustments and I didn't video that. So that's why this may be looking longer than what I told you because I said 16 inches. But anyway, it's according to how you would like it. You might want it bigger or should I say wider or you might want it shorter. So depending on what you want. So the next thing you need to do is glue the tips. I'm going to be gluing the two tips so that it stays thin. I take it like so. You need to measure them. Now what I did was the first one and the, the first one is like one inch longer than the next, one inch longer than the middle. Then you start going back down. Do you understand what I mean? So each of this boning that you have covered are different sizes. You start with 14, then 15, then 16, back to 14. I mean back to 15 then 14 exactly so it will give it the curved shape sort of okay so now what I do once I'm done with that I'm going to take my electric glue gun and I'm going to glue it now the glue you're gluing it small you're not going to overlap it too much if not it will show on the fascinator base so that's what I did to six of the pieces now to ensure that they stick Properly, of course, a needle and thread. Remember, I don't really trust glue that much <laughs> because I feel with time it will loosen. So what I did was to take my needle and thread matching color and I sewed it together from one end of where I glued to the other end. Now when sewing, you take note, you need to grab some part of the material also to ensure it sticks firmly. Keep watching and learning. Okay, now let's go over to my discovery. Now, you know this ostrich, this quail feathers, it's black or white. It doesn't come in shades like this. So I was thinking, how do I give it this pattern that the client needs? Because it was a design that was shown me. And I was like, oh, okay, corrective fluid. Can you imagine? <laughs> so that I thought of nail polish. I was like, nail polish might go off. I thought of paint. I was like, paint, I might not be able to get it, um, the line to be this, you know, how it is and that's what I did finally. Now off to our fascinator base. Now if you don't know how to make this fascinator base, please do check the description of the of this video I will put in because we have molded fascinator base before. Now this fascinator base I made it with princess matte black so the underneath is black then I covered it with bridal satin. Okay so I'll drop the link anyway if you have not watched that video before. Now the next thing I'm sewing this to the edge starting from the top. Now if you notice I'm making use of yellow thread but I changed that later on and made use of black. Why? Because underneath is black. I didn't have 
princess mat that was yellow i used black and so i don't want it visible underneath so i made use of black thread and then i was sewing from one i will grab make sure you grab the material of the covered boning and take it down then when you're taking it from underneath you take it very close to where you took the thread so it's not visible underneath all the six boning covered boning now off to our quail feathers all right so we're going to make use of black thread again because it's going to be going underneath and you don't want it visible like so so what you're going to do is you place your quill the way you want it that's the way i want it so you start with one first of all and then you start sewing now when you're sewing the first thing you need to do is take your needle through the quill Yes, it can go through the quill, but it goes through the quill underneath, not the smooth part on top. It won't pass through. It'll, from the underneath, you'll be able to take it through the quill, and then you start sewing it um, across it to ensure it sticks in the position you want it to. So that's what I did to both of them, placing it the way I want, with one edge kind of like um, longer than the other, and crossed, again, crossed it, so to speak, across each other. Keep watching and learn. I really do hope my voice is going in, uh, how would I put it, in relation to all that I'm saying because. I actually rose the resolution of my camera to 4K and my system is like having a hard time with it. Um, I need to sort that out. But I needed, I had already recorded so and I had to send it. So I hope you're able to gain from this video. So the next thing I did was took my rose. Now this rose is the same rose. If you've watched my brush class one, you know how to make this rose. It's just the difference was that I clapped it together so that it's like slim. But if you want to know how to make this rose, do let me know in the comment section below. So it's like a raw, long, thin rose. And then I started from the middle point, first of all, to take it down. Now, in this one, I made use of a yellow thread matching color with the rose so that it's not visible on the rose. Because, you know, this time around, the rose is going to be on top and it's going to be what is visible. So the only thing you can do is make sure that when you're taking it down, you're taking it close. But finally, you will see what I did on the knit to ensure that you don't see any of my sewings so please watch carefully you will see how i sewed it around because you need to ensure that it covers the joining of the bone bond the boning sorry the joining of the boning so keep watching you would see how that was done i need to keep quiet so that everything is in tune all right keep watching and learning You can also make use of any rose actually that is long you know trimmings trimmings could also be used in place of this rose so okay the next thing i did was i needed to cover remember i told you i used yellow so i was seeing some small small yellow threads and i love my work coming out very neat so i was like oh leaves remember those flowers that are two in one that have leaves i just pulled out the leaves without the rod and then i used it to make a pattern underneath so it looks beautiful after that i took out a small piece of poly cut it with my zigzag scissors and I covered the Alice band. Remember all items used in making this fascinator will be in the description below with links where you can purchase in case you can't find from your local store. And also if you did not know how to make the fascinator base I used you can check this link up here. <laughs> 